want to be like you. I want to walk like you. Marty Whelan here, never afraid to find a new thing to do. And boy, is this a new thing to do. There are meerkats around, let me explain. I'm in Dublin Zoo. Why? RT1 Television, you know, Thursday night, 7 o'clock, there's a programme all about the zoo. We're here in the zoo for RT Lyric FM. Not only that, but of course, it's in conjunction with the EBS as well. So there's all of that to tell you about, which we will do in due course. In the meantime, I'm joined by Eddie O'Brien. Eddie, um, that's your lunch, is it? It is not, Marty, no. No, good morning. Marty, 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 Marty. Now, I better explain, you are the team leader for the meerkats? I am indeed, yes indeed. So yeah. do they see you as some sort of leader? Is that the They thing? do indeed, yeah. They yeah, do? Yeah. And, and how many have you here? We have I'm four, afraid to turn around. We have four here. We have one male and three females. All right. And how do you decide that? Or has that it's, been... it's our new group. It's a new breeding group. So the male has his, his choice of three females. He picks one and then he mates with her for the rest of his life. Really? Yeah. Kind of like the Rose of Tralee in its own way. <laughs> um, but, but in terms of them being here, how long have they been here in, in Dublin Zoo? Well, we have meerkats out here for over the last 20 years, but this new group has only been established in the last year. Right, so and they're, they're very from, new. They're South African, isn't that right? They come from South Africa, but the, the group has originated from Belfast and Welsh Mountain Zoo in Wales. That's where right. we got the group from. I am right in saying they are hugely popular now. They are very popular. To do popular. with movies and to do with the ads on TV. They and are indeed. They are very cute, uh, but they are uh, carnivores, which means they will eat meat. So will they? They? Could, they could give you a nasty Well, it's been lovely talking to you. Um, <laughs> they will eat meat. They do eat meat. That's <laughs> their main diet. 90% of the diet is meat, right. and then 10% also will be bits of root and fruit and stuff like that. They will and eat. how well behaved are they? They're very well behaved. They're, they're a very sociable group. They will live together and they look after each other. Yes. So the male will sort of look after his females, and the females look after him as well. All right, so he'd be particularly protective while we're here now. He will. He's, he's, he's just scooting around at the mall and just checking out to see what's going on. They're, are they very nosy? They are very nosy and also you won't find one of them hopping up on the rocks and they keep an eye at all around their surroundings make sure everything's safe. Really? Yeah, well, yeah. And how long, don't let them hear this, how long will they live? They can live up about 15, sometimes 20 years at a push. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And have you, you haven't had any births here yet? Not just yet, no. That's the plan is that we will have soon because they're only a new established group so that's we're right. hoping to have some. And of course they have the link with the insurance company so it'll be all That's right. right, yes. But you don't only deal here in Dublin Zoo with the Meerkats, you have other functions as well, Eddie. Yeah, I've, I'm in charge of the east section of the zoo, so my, my experience on, on animals look after will be from reptiles to their tropical boards, so it varies a lot around the zoo. Oh, what brought you to this? Um, I started here as a young lad, it happened in the Pets Corner at the time, I started here when I was 12 years old as a really? work experience, yeah, and doing more summer holidays and that, yeah, so fantastic. And did you have to go off and do courses and we do logical You train, you train actually here in the zoo, so okay. you train from the, the older keepers, uh, which are probably I'm now myself, but not to say that. No, no, no. Uh, and also I went to Australia for a year as well, so I had a great experience with that as well. Yeah. It's fantastic, yeah. it really is. So you're going to feed these boys now? We're going to oh, leave some food from, yeah, it's the, the meal one which they really love. Oh, delighted they're, they're very, very nice and, and well, we scrumptious. Over them. And also we give them sort of a cat food as well with cat biscuits and then a little bit of fruit in it as well. All right. And the, the male is uh, a little bit bigger, uh, so as soon as they come out you see he has a little bit bigger head and he's more sociable as well. So he, he'll come they right, he'll come right over. They're not quite not of you, obviously. No, well, they're not. They're not uh, aggressive or anything like that. They're not going to attack you. You know, they're very, very calm. And uh, as you see, see there, they're feeding very well there. So, Eddie, all the grubs are gone now. We've we've enjoyed we've we've just enjoyed ourselves so much. We're fat as fools, <laughs> uh, and we have to leave you. Listen, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Eddie. Continue good luck to you. Thank you very much um, here in the zoo, and it's it's wonderful because you clearly have a passion for it. You love we're it. We're doing that. I love it. Yeah, I've been yeah. here since I'm 12 years old, so I'm here a couple of years now. That's so. right. So you're, you're, and you're yeah. approaching your 25th birthday. 25th now. birthday. So well done. Thank good you very man. much. There he is. That's Eddie O'Brien here in Dublin Zoo. Reminder: It's the zoo. It's RT1 Television Thursdays at uh, seven o'clock, and uh, that's in conjunction with the EBS and of course here on RT Lyric FM we like to keep the animals as happy as we possibly can